Hey guys, Brett here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 and our USA Rags to Riches series here at New Woodshire. So this episode, we're going to continue on harvesting our cotton. It's ready to go. No weeds, fully fertilised. Yeah. That's what we need to do. Let's get a worker doing their thing. Um, we've got our pigs over here ready to go. Um, obviously we don't have any pigs at the moment. We don't have any pig food either. Um, we need to bring some more cash in and get it started, but everything's set up, ready to go. We've got the tree sort of coming through there, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm thinking another pig one over here. And we've got a bit of room on the other side too, but I want to make sure we leave room for... Uh, we have the diesel, diesel herstellung, which I, did, I think I did show you guys, but there's a new one here, the diesel pro reproduction or diesel production. I haven't seen it in game yet. Um, we don't have enough money. I'm hoping by the end of this episode, if we can get at least one bale out of over here, um, we should be okay. Really, really hoping. These cars are still having some dramas with us, though. Um, I was going to go through and do some more decoration stuff. So let's have a look at our fences again. As I said, I want to have. Um, our fence sort of running down along here. Um, leave enough room for us to sort of be able to walk out from there. And then I want to go along and... Ooh, Jesus. Too close. Be able to put in... Jeez, I hate it when it starts moving the screen. Um, be able to put in our fences along here. So I'll keep you guys here while we do this. Um, Sort of trying to make sure it's lined up correctly. It's so hard to line these things up properly when it's hard to see from sort of this far away. People are getting cranky because of our harvester. You know where you can stick that bloody horn? Alright, let me try... There we go, I think that's the right spot. Can you get out of the way? You're in the way. Go, get. You're a bloody pain. Right, so it's going to make it hard doing it that way as well. I'm sort of running our fence sort of all the way along. I don't know if we're going to buy this area now. I don't think we really need it. So um, I figured I probably wanted to bring you guys in for um, me doing this sort of stuff. Um, you guys probably don't see it very often me sort of designing things so um, I've had a few comments of people saying that they like pain in the bum people like watching this sort of thing so I think it's a good idea to actually bring you guys in to do it but um, try to make sure that we sort of line it up reasonably well because I don't want to have any sort of dramas. If I do it this way, um, that's sort of going to, no, that should be alright. We'll, we'll go back to, see if I do it this way, that's probably going to allow me to see it a little bit better. I'll come back to there. There we go. We'll let our harvester go for a little bit. I am going to turn him to go the other way in a second, but I think I'm going to need to do a few runs now that we've got this fence in. It's probably going to cause some dramas um, with him wanting to run this way. So I don't think it really matters which way it runs, to be honest, but uh, that's not the right spot. Close enough. I'm not going to stress too much because it's quite... Um, it's quite tedious. I don't want you guys sort of sitting here for the next half an hour and me just putting a bloody fence in. So close enough. I think we'll be good enough at this point in time. Thinking, like, I should be able to get the majority of it lined up reasonably well and reasonably easily. We'll go all the way to the end up here. 
I won't go that way yet until we decide sort of what we're going to do. But I have put a few other trees in, I think, which you guys haven't seen yet. Sort of just trying to fill fill in the um, the area around to make it look like it's a legitimate and beautiful, profitable farm, I suppose. All right, so a couple more, I think. I think we'll probably get maybe get one more after this if we're lucky. Okay, how far up can we go? No, so we'll probably try and do that. There we go. Put another one in, which kind of gives us a little funny spot there, but that's fine. I think that'll work. Um, come all the way back down here now and try and put in. Um, is that the right? It is. I want to put in um, like our last little post sort of thing here. Just this is another hard thing to get right. Like that. How's that? Yep, that'll work. Right, beautiful. So we got the front of the farm all fenced off now. We're going to have to fence off along here because we're going to buy this land here. I think we're going to have to um, have canola on here to be able to feed our sort of diesel production and that sort of stuff. So certainly going to work well. Um, the modding well farms, I don't think we really need that. We've already got a windmill. I'm not going to put any of this stuff in, I don't think. Um, greenhouses and stuff we've got as well if we need them later on yeah that's about it I think alright so we might um, get rid of the hired worker now and send him up this other way we're already 47% cotton so we should get one maybe two cotton bales out of this field which would be nice um, we still have our tractors sitting here ready to go um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to mow or if we're going to uh, cultivate. So I think. Did I purchase? Uh, not you. You. No. Yes, we did. Okay, we did purchase the other cultivator. So we might go and pick that up, bring that back down. Plenty of grass to mow again. Um, this thing's going crazy. 80 kilometers an hour again. Uh, plenty of grass to mow. Can turn back into some more um, silage bales and stuff. Um, the quickest way to the shop is probably going to be straight into the tree. No, into the tree. Around the tree. Around this field. And um, down into the shop. Still not a fan of how these things work, but we will get rid of this tractor eventually. It's just going to take a little bit of time before we get rid of it. As much as I love it, I love the look of it. I don't love the way that they articulate in the middle there. It's, um, it's quite painful to be able to drive and drive effectively to make sure there's nothing coming the other direction. So head back to the farm and we can start cultivating now. This should work a little bit better um, than what the last one did if we have to have a hired worker. I'm not planning on having a hired worker anytime soon for this guy, but if we do need to, I'm hoping this works a little bit better. So as you can see I did make um, added some extra dirt. I did buy a pickup truck and a field trailer as well. So I can go around and service the things we need to when we need to. I also added that little road, dirt road there to get to the field and another one at the end I think to get from the field. I think I did up that end, yep. Right, so let's lower this guy. We can um, start cultivating. Do a little bit of in-cab stuff. Make sure that we don't need any um, Plowing done. 
just cultivating. Keep an eye on when a bale drops, because when a bale drops, we're going to need to go and get it and um, get it to the sell point, because we might even have to plant. So we might have to plant canola in here, but I don't think we can afford it. Um, well, not that we can't afford it. We can afford to plant it, but we can't. Damn it! We can't afford to. Um, It's going straight, good. Can't afford to get a harvester to harvest it. That's the problem at this point in time, so... I have to wait and see how many bales we get and how much money we make, because the next thing I want to put in is that um, diesel... diesel slash pig production setup. So I want to get everything ready to go for... when we are going to bring the pigs out and um, get them started. So we're definitely going to go with, as I said, cotton and pigs for now. We might even do some wool later on, but I think cotton and pigs is um, going to be a good thing, and it's going to keep us busy for quite some time without having to actually go and look at trying to bring sheep into the mix as well. So, how's he going? He's still doing a good job. Then we'll, we'll come back down and we'll head up the other way as well. We're probably going to catch him before he's finished but at least we'll get some of this done and then we can hopefully go and sell a cotton bale sometime soon so that fence might might cause some issues um, with trying to go this way but we'll see how it goes as far as that area goes as I said here it's it's only 70 grand, so we can buy it. Maybe put like a storage shed in there for the cotton harvester or something. Um, I don't know. Just try and have that block the off our farm that way. Might be the way to go. Sort of put the fence running along into the side of the mountain sort of thing there. Hopefully you guys do like the idea of going and doing pigs. I said I put some trees here around the pig area, I put some trees around the house. Um, certainly looks starting to look like a proper farm now. Which is really good. Yeah I did, there we go. I did I did put a road in here for us to be able to exit enter and exit the uh, field. Go okay, turn around and head back down. to run over the crop that he hasn't harvested yet. Back back a little bit. So it's certainly um, all coming together and starting to work out really well which is good. The series is still performing well on the channel as well as our John Deere series as well and our new Hawks Bay series. Our no mod, no loan, no leasing challenge is also going pretty well, so quite happy with how things are progressing at the moment. Just hoping I can um, keep up with the release schedule because I'm starting to get quite busy um, with not just the YouTube channel but you know, other things in life as well, so kind of hoping I've got time for everything. So look at our grass, is it ready to cut again? It is, it's all ready to cut again. Which that's one other thing I'd like to do. I'd like to bring in, as much as it costs a fair bit, the silage production here, which costs a lot to get it up and running, but it's a lot better than um, wrapping bales and stuff. Which I guess is another thing I can look at. Um, is that all leased equipment? Actually it's not. These guys are so we could possibly, you know, sell all these three things and get some money back as well, which um, I think might be a good idea. Get that out of there. Get you going as well, and get you going as well. Back to the shop, we can sell those. Um, as far as you go, we could probably sell you too. We don't really need you right at this point in time. There comes our bail. 
So I think if we get rid of that stuff, we're not actually using it. We're not going to use it for quite some time, so I'm not going to do any more grass or silage stuff at the moment. We've done a little bit of that to get us sort of where we are. I'm not going to worry about doing too much more of that at this point in time. Alright, sorry guys, um, had to mute for a second. Um, get this run done, and then I think we will um, go and pick up our truck, I think. Grab our truck, and um, we'll be able to load the cotton bale up with the truck, I think. It'll be a lot quicker to get to and from um, using our truck. Alright, so I think... Um, yeah, I think it's back at the shop still, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Alright, so we'll leave the farm. I did buy... Ooh, nearly hit him. I did buy the Massey Ferguson... Oh, the Massey Ferguson. The case colour for our truck. Need it to match the rest of our equipment and the rest of our farm. We're all going full red for most of our equipment. Well, when we can, anyway. So I had to make sure I got red truck. Let's go around this guy. Ain't nobody got time to sit behind you, buddy. Oh, swing left into here. Cotton trailer is right here. Let's hook you up. While that's happening, I might um, use our amazing manpower to pick this one up somewhere sell these guys so we're really not going to need them at the moment it's going to bring in enough cash I think for us to get that diesel production thing set up so it's going to be good plus this bale um, cotton bale and probably plus another one is going to maybe be enough for us to buy that field next door and um or even a field somewhere. Oh, what am I doing? And um, get some canola harvested if we buy a field and flip the field back if there's a canola field in the area, which there may not be. Right, whoop, throw that in there. There we go. Look at that. Done. So if we go to field field five's canola. Look at that. It's growing. It's nearly done. How much is it? 102. We'll definitely pick that up. It's right over here. Right in front of us. So that's actually going to work out really well. Be able to hopefully lease a harvester. Um, get our canola sorted. Um, it's maize, so I'm pretty sure... Does it say canola or maize? It's the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, in canola, that's right. Canola or maize is the same thing, but... I wasn't sure if it actually said maize or canola. So if we get that canola field, we'll be able to... start making some pig food and, di and diesel as well, which is going to be good because we won't have to purchase any more diesel. Work out really, really well. So let's get this bale picked up. There we go. So let's take a, the time now while that's loading, which is not going to take long. Actually, it's 220. Oh, it's 125. So we might not have enough for everything. Maybe after the bales, we'll have enough. We'll have to wait and see. Um, Alright, so we'll head up this way again, go the back roads, stay off the main roads with this really wide trailer. Hopefully you guys are okay with not cutting any more grass and stuff, you've probably seen more than enough of us cutting grass. This field here is sunflowers, so we're not going to worry about that, that is a field we are going to buy. We're going to turn that into our maize field, or our canola field. So we are going to need to get a 
a harvester, eventually purchase a harvester. We're also going to need a trailer to transport the pigs. Um, and a way to transport the manure to sell it when we don't we have excess. A way to transport the this road's rough. A way to transport the slurry as well when we have excess to make some extra money. Slow down, swing into here. So we're going to get at least one bale off that field. Hopefully more than one. This one should give us 80,000, is it roughly? 90,000? 95, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, so now's the time we can actually have a look at how big um, this guy actually is. Ooh. Oof, it is quite big, isn't it? It's very big. Um, okay, diesel refinery, canola in, pig feed out. Even there, it's going to be too big for it. Ooh, so here, I think, sort of where we're going to have to go, but we're going to have to level out the ground, I think. Level from here back so level all this area out to get this in quite big but it's going to be worth it in the long run I think this guy is much much smaller but I think this one is certainly going to look a lot better um, so let's let's start landscaping I think um, I want to get all this the right height. Now oh, it's probably going to be a little bit rough around the edges up here, but we will need to sort of adjust all that. All right, so that's all done in there. I want to sort of level this side out too. Okay, so I want to smooth it all as well, so it's not quite as dramatic. Don't know how we're going to go with these roads, like that road like that. We, we are probably going to have to um, come back and sort of maybe raise the ground up a little bit, sort of under the side of the road there sort of have it look like it's supposed to because I think we might have uh, yeah we have I think we've undercut a little bit but we can work that out later on I'm not too stressed about it at the moment I think we certainly need to sort of adjust that there we need to make sure we don't sort of make it too high if we want to sort of level it out there we go. I think that'll that'll work so we're probably going to have to grab like from oh, wrong one X there we go go from here and sort of level it out like this Let's smooth part of this area off. Oh, there we go. I think I don't know how that's going to go, really, because it's. Something like this, I think, would work. You can actually get it to go around reasonably well. I know it's costing us money. We probably shouldn't be spending, but... I 
just want to make sure we're not sort of undercutting the side we have to smooth it off a little bit again so we definitely undercut through here um, and this is where it starts to get tricky trying to make sure we're not um, so we just need to raise it up enough Time you move it along, it sort of does its own thing. All right, there we go. And then if I come back along the front, just smooth the front edges off a little bit, so it's not quite as rough. I think that'll work. So hopefully, you guys are all right with. Be doing a little bit of farm adjustments during the episodes. I know I've had a few comments, people saying that they like um, my farm designing and all that sort of stuff. So doing it as part of the episode, I think, will be okay. Uh, all right, let's go back to in here. A little bit more of this rough stuff. Sort of around the sides here. I don't know if they've changed the way the tool works, but it doesn't seem to want to paint as much as it used to. Sometimes. Right, there we go. Right, so I need to get the grass tool back. There we go. Paint the grass in there. Paint that a little bit, there we go. It's a little bit of grass on the top. There you go, that works. Auto save. Luckily, it, we didn't completely screw it up. Um, so there's auto saves happen, so that's a good thing. So now we can actually. I think we're going to bring it in this way. Um, so we need to leave. A little bit of access around the back. There we go. Now I am going to change the textures of the ground if we can. Um, we can't. Because I don't like all that black stuff there. Um, diesel fuel where that goes in. I could probably let's have a look. See if we can something like this. I think this is what we're gonna have to do. Bring the grass up over it. Careful what we do around here. go and then we can we'll be able to paint over it then okay let's minimize that a little bit can we get in there enough we can beautiful I think that is gonna work let's see if we can't get all the way down through here. Maybe not. That'll do. So that'll still work. We still can see these bits here, which is good. Smooth all this off. I think that's not working very well. Um, hopefully that won't too much of a bump there and then we can go back to get our painting tool sort of paint along the side here sort of part of our road still so timer so 
in through to there. Um, go through. I can never work out exactly which one is the right one. I think it was that one, wasn't it? Straight past it again. That one. There we go. Right, so I want to paint. All around through here, there we go. It is dirt, so something like this sort of coming in and out. It's going through a little bit of cash, but we want it to sort of look how it's supposed to, so I'm not going to stress too much about. It costs us a little bit of money. I probably do want to go back and sort of fix this area up a little bit, but it's gonna gonna work for what we want it to work as. I'll come back down. I'm gonna leave a little bit of grass out the back. Bring you sort of up around we should still have enough room for another pig area here right, we can paint our grass sort of all back in here now so grass all through here um, I know the time has gone off, but let's get this finished before we uh, end the episode. So I'm not going to paint too much grass along there because it's probably going to get removed anyway when we put the other pig pig pen sort of thing in there. So bring this around. Like that. There we go. I think that'll work. I so said I think I still need to certainly adjust through here. That. Quite touchy in some spots. I'll bring you along to there. There we go. And then sort of smooth off the front a little bit um, all right go through a little bit more Swear this way certainly got the sound going which is good I think right through here is not too bad, so I'm not going to stress too much, but let's just put in a little bit more of this rough stuff. Alright, where are we? How are you going? Drop another bale off? We have. Good. Let's go for a quick run over and see if anything pops up. There's a... Uh... idea what that's meant to be but anyway <laughs> I don't know who those people are on the bikes either so in canola out diesel and out pig food so the canola goes into here which goes into here and does something that would be better if that was like completely shut off I'm not sure about the grass here too either but it will work um, hopefully and then the Big food will come out of here. The diesel will come out here. Is that floating or is it just me? It certainly looks like it's floating in the air. It is. Oh well, that's fine. We can all live with that, I think. Is there anything here for diesel and pig food? There's not. Alright, radio guys, what I'll do is I'll get this um crazy. I'll get this bale sold, I'll get this finished harvesting, cultivating, reseeded with cotton, 
um, and then I will purchase that other field over there and then we can look at this next episode but um right out guys if you guys enjoyed this one as always smash that like button but leave a comment let me know what you think of the build so far and if you like this setup it is quite big for our farm but I think it's going to work alright I mean I, I think it looks a lot better than the other smaller one but you guys let me know if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys please do so it's been Bruno thanks for watching see you again soon